Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show and today we have the man you never see who's always behind the camera, Peter van Keer, and we're going to talk guys. about sales and video. So Peter, you've been doing the show for almost 40 episodes, you've been with me for 50. a year. 50. 50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God. It's going fast. It's going fast. We've been doing this for a year and we've seen yep. that, that business has been growing, exposure has been growing. I think it's time that we talk about it, but maybe you yep. explain like in two minutes what you do. Yeah. Okay. And then let's have a chat about how did we do it? How did we scale it? What's the impact on, on sales? What's your advice? Yeah. I especially want to, I want to ask like good and bad. So right. people keep, people can copy and they learn and they know what to do. Avoid all the mistakes we made of forgetting splitters, batteries and all that <laughs> stuff. Right. All right, so hi, my name is Peter, and uh, since one year I work with Michael uh, on this concept. And uh, what I do actually, because um, you know, this is just one client, you know, Michael is one of the clients I do this for, is Michael is an expert, right? I work with a lot of real experts, and I basically extract their knowledge but and I'm the expert it. of the experts, right? <laughs> Exactly. So basically what I do is I, ex I extract all that knowledge and expertise and I make that, you know, I make the, the person share that on social media. That can be LinkedIn, YouTube, but I focus on building a brand, a personal yeah. brand, so thought leadership. Personal brand or thought leadership? Because we fight about this. It's almost it's, similar. It's, it's a buzzword. You know, it's just a word, thought leadership, influencer. So it's, it's expertise. You want to make people shine because yes. of their expertise. Exactly. With the goal of people buying from them. Well, in the end, of course, that's the goal. Uh, but that's not the first step. That's the first step is not like okay, let's just go sell. Yeah. No, actually, you you talk about the things you learned through the processes of the past few years, and you know, in in one way, if you do that in a, you know over a long time span, people will automatically start liking you. You know, no like trust. They will know get to know you. They will start to like you if you do it well, and they start to trust you. And from the moment on that they trust you, well, the next step in most cases is, you know, what does this guy actually sell? And they start so, selling. Two things yep. they always ask me. Yeah. Where do you get content? Okay. Question for you. And two, how much do you post or how much do you produce? Okay. Right, so let's let's go with content. So content. First of all, yeah, of course, you got to start from your expertise. Um, in my opinion, you know, like if you start a business, you have an expertise. Even if you don't start a business, you have something in you that you know something of, right? And you can see that on, on for my case, it's I focus a lot on YouTube, but so many small YouTubers start early because they know something, whether it's storytelling, whether it's, you know, talking about their cats and dogs, everyone has an expertise. So starting from that is, for example, my expertise is video strategy or just marketing or sales in your case, you start by, you know, doing a brain uh, brain dump. I love just, brain dumps. Just, okay, let's just, every topic that you can talk about, just make a list. It can be 100 words, 200 words, too many, four, too many. Google Sheets. <laughs> it can be so much. But, and then, of course, the important thing is to segment and to select, okay, which are the important topics, which are, like, the loose topics, which, which, which are, like, the topics that you really have to think about. Okay, what am I going to say? Because it's important that if you give the opinion or if you give your expertise, that is actually correct, yeah. right? And then two more things here. Yeah. Is if you don't know, your customers will ask you questions. Yeah. Use those. Two, if you really, really don't know, yeah. go to Quora.com. Yeah. There is a lot of ways <laughs> to actually, yeah, there. exactly. There's a lot of ways uh, to find yeah. topics that you can talk about. Yeah. Indeed, if you have in Quora, for example, you know, Quora, uh, Quora.com, you can uh, ask a question and people randomly can basically answer that question. If you type in marketing, you will see a ton of thousands, questions, thousands. And mar questions and answers about marketing. But imagine you just gather all the questions that are related to your business just make a list of it, answer all those questions yeah. separately in videos, and you get and little snackable videos. It's very important because yeah. this is a long show, let's say, but content, and that's also for the next part, content should be short, snackable, should be yeah. in between. And make it alive, we've seen it today while yeah. we were recording, make it alive with a use case. So I used to do the sales week and I did like, this is the definition, blah, 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 blah. But if you say, let me give you an example yeah. or a use case, or and then you really become the expert because yeah. you actually know it, but you yeah. just, forget to speak about it. It is important right? that you indeed uh, share the expertise or like the, sorry, the experience that you had on that specific topic, on that specific, um, you know, expertise. Like if, if you ask me to talk about video marketing, I will not go in the direction of other people. I will share my experience that I had with Michael and my clients. And, and that is, you know, added value is probably the most important thing there is. Like yep. expertise, there's a ton of sales experts, but Michael has specific, or people have specific knowledge because of their experience, even personal experience. 
I had, you know, I have my own personal experiences from the past few years, how I started to vlog, how I started to get on camera, and that's my way of interpreting video marketing, video strategy. So I give you my little secret sauce of yeah. how I look at it. The how second much, question, what was it? How much? How Weekly, much? once a month, every well, day? I mean, we know some guys that do three movies a day, but it, I, I've seen, I've seen let, let me tell yeah. because we've done the show for you now. Yeah. I've seen it, if I go up to like one video a day at some yeah. stage we did, it was just too much. People were like well, suffocating it's, it's, them. I think it, it really depends. Um, if I look at what I like to see from people, you know, basically what I do for, for, for as a company, it's, it's, it, it's, it's based on a passion of watching and learning from other experts on YouTube. If I have, let's say, let's take an example, Gary Vaynerchuk. I know you don't like me taking that example, but Gary, yeah, he's, he's, he's uploading daily multiple videos. It's way too much. Yeah. I pick one thing, and that is the sales extra, uh, sorry, the sales extra. It's nice the show. Ask Gary V show that he posts every week or whenever he can, and whenever I can, I watch it. And that was at a pace of, I don't know, two, three videos per week. And that's actually, that's... this length is quite a bit. So yeah. I would definitely suggest he does to start minutes. Yeah. But if it is good, I'm not saying that Gary's shows are always, you know, the, the same quality and the same value, but a lot of it is and you know, you can listen to it and that, that's something a lot of people misinterpret is if you have a longer show, you can listen to it in the car yeah. while you're driving. You know, Actually, I use most YouTube people, videos. Most people watch this show as a podcast yeah. almost. They just yeah. put it on and, and I download and, and, the YouTube Actually, I shouldn't say it, but I download the YouTube videos oh. that I just like to see and I use it as a podcast. Oh god, YouTube. <laughs> I listen Man. literally to 15-minute YouTube videos. Now, um, now Peter's <laughs> made his own company, so I think we should renegotiate this whole thing that we have here, right? So, okay, what else? Because okay, so the, the pace, um, for sure, like, st at least once a week. Like, if, if you, if you want to start, I, I once live. a week is the absolute I minimum. actually did a, a, year, a whole year, yeah. one movie, every Wednesday, yeah. every Wednesday. And so every, we, very that. rarely we skipped, because yeah. I do believe that you need to do it when there is a tension, like yeah. summer holidays coming up. You would be stupid. No, for, for me, I don't believe in that. Your rhythm, huh? I, I mean attention. I, I learn whenever I want to learn. If I want to learn ah. about sales during my vacation, during my holidays on the beach with some but videos I of I see Michael. a difference in the, in the views. Yeah, I of see, course. But I see. That's the good thing about YouTube. That's why I focus on YouTube. YouTube is based on search engine optimization. So you can watch these videos all the time. For LinkedIn, for example, LinkedIn is a no, that's temporary. Pure attention. It's pure attention at that moment, right? And True. you're not having like, it, it's not a search engine for videos. And that's Although, why you focus on YouTube. If, if I look at LinkedIn, the yeah. article part, yeah. that tends to, I have people coming back to articles which are way yeah. beyond. So there might be a thing there, but that's very specific to LinkedIn. Okay, yeah. what else did we learn? What else do you say? I know that in the beginning perfection we focus. Perfection is not important. No, perfection. We, we focus on two good cameras. We shouldn't. We then said, okay, we need noise, uh, sound. Noise. <laughs> we need we sound. We want to avoid noise. Yeah. You know, the, the thing we, is, I think, because if you look at this show, the quality is okay, but it's not f three different camera setups. It's not, it's not perfect. And yeah. I think the content here is more important. Um, ah, also, very important. We do one shot. We used to. Yeah. edit the whole time and it took yeah. us so much time so what we yeah. said is we take like 10 minutes or 12 minutes whatever something yeah. comes up and if it's not good we just do it again yeah. and we, we, we became 10 times more yeah. faster in production yeah. I mean I in think way, production is important yeah absolutely and that's the thing you know you rhythm. have to focus on scale and efficiency like if you if you record one super nice interview with multiple camera setups well you can do one interview yeah. per day but now today we're going to go up to 6 or 7 interviews in one day but that's the machine huh? that's, that's the, the machine. other tip yeah. you need to build the machine. Yeah. So yeah. instead of doing once a week, you yeah. do all of them in one day. You die. You hear my voice already. <laughs> I still have to go. And you just you, now we, you have content for seven, six or seven weeks, yeah. right? And you pff, can let it go. Yeah. And, and then, then in the meantime, of course, because this is the main uh, thing, let's say. But in the meantime, you make snackable videos. You can, for example, very good tip is to extract specific parts of the video and use it as little extra video on Facebook. Advertise it. Use it on Instagram. Yeah on LinkedIn, a specific parts of the, so you can extract multiple pieces of content out of one video. Also, yeah. one video, basically, if you get it transcribed uh, on rev.com, rev you, ha you have a one you dollar have per minute. Yeah, one dollar per minute of video footage. Yes. You have a blog post. Of course, you got to send it to a blog, uh, to a, a copywriter, because the text is not going to be, you know, it, it's, yeah. it's spoken text. So it's, I, I used to do that. Huh? Every show yeah. was a blog post, and I yeah. kind of stopped because I don't know why. It's, it's, <laughs> no a, lot time of, it's a lot of time. It's, 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 it does require quite some time. Yeah. And also, 
it's it was costing too much. I remember after a while, I yeah. was like, guys, come on. It's, I think the, the thing that I see uh, a lot of companies doing wrong is the organization. You have to be a little bit structured here. Because you, you make a video, machine, okay, what's machine. the next, what's the next step, what's the next step. Yeah. But don't, of course, don't focus too much on, you know, regulating is, I think, a very big mistake that, that people do. I have a, I'm, I'm going to try, because I edit this, this video, I'm going to put a quote here from Blue Corona, and basically it focuses on a lot beer? of, sorry? Beer? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a marketing. Ah, uh, okay. no, no, <laughs> and I only know sales and beer. <laughs> What do you know, actually? <laughs> Video. Video. <laughs> and it says, you know, instead of focusing for six months on one campaign, you know, spending 10, 20,000 yeah. euros on one campaign, the small companies already posted 20 videos on, yeah. or 20 little posts and on is, Snapchat. And that is, and my friends, how you can win against a big brand because yeah. they need to stick to standards. They need to have other people. Yeah. The bottleneck is other people. Yeah. What you do is you can actually scale 10 times faster yeah. because of that. Exactly. Of course, you don't do not have the budgets of the big boys. No. But in my opinion, it's an advantage mm -hmm. because sometimes even I go to the big boys and I say, stop doing that. Mm -hmm. We're going to go there and we're going to go really fast. Mm -hmm. And they get really nervous with me. Mm -hmm. And still then it takes two months for yeah. them. It's fast. But that's how you can win. Yeah. And I think we should stop there because we've told them how to win. <laughs> Peter, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure working on the show, actually. You know, and it's... you'll see some other concepts coming soon. Yeah. We're working on some other things and some other layouts. And we're going to try some more stuff. So keep watching. If you like what you've seen, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more. Smash that like button and the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs>